Hey guys, yesterday I had my Bits Pilani higher degree exam. I'd like to share some details with you before I forget them. You cannot find these details anywhere else. You won't find the official exam papers online. So let me share with you some of the details of the exam. So there will be three parts to the exam. The first part will be compulsory and you will have maths, English and logic. There will be 15 questions in maths. 15 in logic and English and you'll have 45 minutes to answer all these 30 questions so for a total of 90 marks you'll have 45 minutes plus 3 and minus 1 these are the marking scheme for the second exam the second part of the test it will be the computer science test if you have opted for computer science as in my case there will be 70 questions and you'll have to answer 70 questions in 105 minutes. So out of a total of 210 marks, you'll have to answer 70 questions plus 3 and minus 1, the same marking scheme and 105 minutes. The third part of the test, which will be software systems, if you have opted for computer science and software systems, as is the case with me, then you'll have to answer 50 questions in 60 minutes so for a total of um, 150 marks plus 3 and minus 1 as is the case with all the three uh, parts of the test so if you've opted for both of these exams computer science and software systems then you'll have to um, attempt the total exam for three and a half hours which will be 210 minutes so three and a half hours for a total of 150 questions you will not get any breaks in between the parts of the test so keep that in mind now if we look at some of the details of the exam now these are the important dates for example 23rd of September was my exam and um, so the merit list comes out on 1st of October and then this third iteration will be on 13th of October and then the fourth iteration will be on 24th of October so there will be four iterations in total there will be four iterations uh, or we can say there will be four rounds of counseling the first would the first was uh, through the basis of gate and the second third and fourth rounds will be on the basis of gate and your bits higher degree program as well so if we look at uh, this chart we have software systems which is only available at bits pilani's pilani campus and we have computer science which is available at pilani goa and hyderabad campuses now if we look at the cutoff now here it says some guy got now here it says that uh, this guy got 125 in software systems that is software systems and maths the first section combined so 125 in software systems and he got pilani ss allotted so we can say that uh, 120 around 120 would be the cutoff on a normal year but this year is anything but normal so we'll have to wait and watch okay here we can see that ss cutoff is 118 but this is for uh, 2018 118 ss cutoff would be out of a total of 240 marks so the first test which was of 90 marks and the second test which will be of uh, the first test that is maths english and logical reasoning that was of 90 marks and the third which is software systems was of 150 marks in total so if we combine the first and third tests for maths english logical reasoning and ss combined that would be 240 marks so here it says that if you get to 118 marks out of 240 you will be allotted the SSC at Pilani campus. The Pilani CS cutoff was 139. 139 would be out of a total of 300 marks. That is the first test, Maths, English and Logical Reasoning. That is 90 marks plus the second test, which is 210 marks in total. So 300 marks for Pilani, uh, 139 out of 300 marks for Pilani CS. And here it says Goa and Hyderabad cutoff was around 121. Now, it has to be noted that Bits Pilani has accepted GATE scores since 2018. So, here it says that if you have a GATE score of around 714, which is less than 500 rank, and at this rank you can get 
even some of the uh, best IITs, then you can get into Pilani CS through your gate score. And uh, if you have 640 to 645 plus score, then you can get into Goa and Hyderabad campuses in the CS branch through your gate exam. So this was about BITS Pilani's higher degree exams and um, if you'd like to know more about any of these exams, you can question me, you can um, leave a comment below. The fees for BITS higher degree program is 2 lakh rupees per semester. Lodging, electricity, that is hostels, electricity, mess food, the cost of, a, uh, the cost of these will of course be separate to your tuition fee which is 2 lakh rupees per semester. So. I would say um, the cost of studying at Bits Pilani would be somewhere in the ballpark of 10 lakh rupees for um, two year ME course. It is to be noted that Bits Pilani um, awards ME degrees instead of M Tech degrees. And um, as far as the difference between computer science and uh, sa computer science and software systems streams is concerned, there are a few differences, but it is not so significant so as to impede um, or coerce you into believing that software systems is in any way an inferior branch to computer science and about the difficulty of the exam if you've studied for gate well enough then you'll find bits pilani's higher degree uh, then you'll find bits pilani's higher degree exam pretty easy and some of the questions are exactly not from the mathematics of computer science that is not exactly from discrete mathematics there were questions on um, integral calculus there were there were questions on uh, vectors and as far as computer science is concerned there are some things that are not included in the gate syllabus as well that are included in bits pilani's higher degree exam for example uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence and then there was a question on um, intel architecture whether if an intel based processor that uh, executes a divide by zero instruction returns the address stored on the top of the stack as far as i can remember the question so that question was completely out of syllabus for a gate aspirin then there were a few questions on compilers overall i can say that the questions were not of a very difficult level but if you've studied for gate then you can definitely do pretty well in bits pilani's higher degree exam now as far as software systems is concerned for me software systems at least was easier compared to computer science because I already teach C programming and most of the questions were from C programming. You had to predict the output of the C programs. Um, there were some questions from databases, some from uh, networking, Ethernet. There were some questions from software engineering, um, spiral models, iterative models. However, as far as English is concerned, Eng there were no logical questions if I can remember. As far as pure logic is concerned, there were no pure logic questions. However, as far as English is concerned, the questions were extremely ambiguous. So I would say there were multiple in there were multiple instances where a couple of options would have been correct, but it was more or less a hit or a miss. So I would suggest you to attempt English questions a bit more with a bit more caution. So how was my experience personally? I think the exam was a bit too long or I think they should have provided a sort of some sort of break between three parts of the exam. Although social distancing was maintained and temperature checks were done at the entrance of the venue, at the entrance of the venue, but the exams were a little cramped. Three and a half hours is a bit too long. Even JE advanced happens with a gap in between the three R exams. Anyway, these were my impressions of Bits Pilani's higher degree exam. I hope this video would be useful to you and it should serve as a reference for uh, future aspirants of Bits Pilani higher degree exam. Thanks for watching.